Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn about Pelton wheel. How does it work? What are different components? So let's try to understand one by one. As you can see in the animation, the first component is called penstock. So this is where all the water comes in. The second component is called spare. So spare is the actually that part that controls the flow of water, whether water will go from the nozzle or not. After that, at the end you can see nozzle. So nozzle is that part from where water actually moves out as you can see from the animation and due to the nozzle small area the water comes out from it produce a very high pressure and it strikes on the pelton wheel and rotate it as you can see from the animation. Why pelton blade have a such a unique design? So when first pelton wheel is designed they use basically a straight blade as you can see in the animation when water jet strikes on it due to that the blade collapse okay now we due to long time or you know the blade is not good enough that they can sustain the water pressure for a long time so they collapse normally break down after that they thought hey let's incline it some angle okay so they give some angle inclination okay but when they do they saw even it doesn't give better efficiency or long life even they you know just break down after some period of time then after thinking a very long time Pelton come up with this unique idea of this blade so what is unique about this blade as you can see in the animation when water jet strike on it the water basically just deflect okay it is not sticking to the surface so all the force basically just what uh, is doing is deflecting the blade water okay so it is deflecting the water that is the reason it's you know have long life plus if you see the cross-sectional area you can see it is thicker at the center where water is actually striking so that is the reason it stays longer in life as compared to the other design so that is the reason Pelton will have a such a unique design okay so because of the deflection and the thickness at the center of it it has a long life as compared to other blade designs so i hope in real life a pelton wheel has more than one nozzle so that it can produce high speed as you can see that there are six nozzle so what actually happening in pelton wheel that first you switch on two or three nozzles sequence wise after that you see how much velocity achieved after that you suddenly start all the remaining nozzles in my case three at the same time a question is why uh, the reason is that so that you doesn't reach critical velocity okay so suppose you start uh, you know start sequence by sequence uh, your nozzles so what will happen there will be time when your pelton wheel shaft will reach at critical velocity and it will destroy the dam so that scenario will not occur so what they will do so what they will do they will start nozzle at a sequence at the beginning so that they can reach the pelton wheel below the critical speed now to make sure that it doesn't rotate at critical speed what they will do the moment it is for example my critical speed is 290 rpm so what they will do when it will reach 250 rpm they will release all the nozzle at the same time so that it will cross the 290 critical speed okay so that it will not you know rotate at that speed so because if that rotate my you know hot pellet turbine will destroy it so you can see this kind of case in real life as well so that is the reason they just use some nozzle at the sequence at the beginning after that they will you suddenly you know open all the nozzles at once so just for all if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask check out the link in description for better understanding how does it works and you know theory and theorem of the parts and have a great day namaste